During last weekend's World Cup qualifier between Belgium and Greece, there was a protest which seemed very much out of place. A group of women in the crowd held up a banner with the message, Let Iranian Women Enter Their Stadiums. The protest was led by an Iranian-born dentist called Darya Safai, who now lives in Belgium. Since 1982, the Islamic Republic has banned women from attending football matches and many other sporting events in Iran. And Darya has been telling me all about her fight. Yeah, as you know, the Iranian women are among the only uh, women who cannot enter the stadium and enjoy the match inside the stadium. This is about our basic rights, uh, about the basic rights of Iranian women. And I thought maybe it's better to do something about it. Like, for example, the battle of uh, people uh, like Rosa Parks who look at the chair, a seat, more than what it means just for a seat of a bus. So uh, the Iranian women thinking the same thing. So I think it's the right of every woman and man uh, enjoying a match together and uh, cheering the the national team. And that's why I'm doing this protest. What reaction do you get inside stadiums when you show off the banner and start making political statements? You know, our problem is something that it is based on the basic rights of the women. And it's not about a political problem. And then when I open my banner there, everyone who sees that, like everywhere that I have been in the world, they are asking about, if they don't know, they are asking about what's going on. Everywhere in the stadiums, I I have a lot of support. And that support is uh, for Iranian women, and it makes their heart warm. They know that they are not alone in this struggle. So it is so difficult that they need the help of other people and the support of them to, to continue the struggle. In Iran, do women and young girls who want to go to football matches try to sneak in? Yes, they are. I mean, uh, they they make they discuss this discuss uh, themselves, and they they try to make them a boy, a man, and try to enter the stadium with a lots of uh, painting on their face that no one um, see that they are girls. I mean, this is how our life was in Iran as a girl, as a girl born. I I remember that I didn't want to be a girl. I just wanted to be a boy when I was little. But I didn't understand. I don't have any problem problem with my gender what is ha- what it was um, my problem it was that i didn't have the same rights i couldn't enjoy my life and that's what the lots of iranian uh, girls and women are waiting for just enjoying the life having the same right and being the first class citizen in place of being treated like second class citizens people who are should be humiliated should be that every um, that the regime should decide how they should behave themselves those are the things that we are asking and I, I understand very well those girls who want to enjoy the sport that's why it is very important and I repeat the, those seats and the stadiums are not the only are not only the seats it means much more than a place to sit that's Daria Safai who's campaigning for Iranian women to be allowed into stadiums to watch football matches That's all for this week. Remember, you can listen to past programmes and hear more of our interviews by going to our website. That's bbcworldservice.com slash worldfootball. You can also follow us on Twitter at WSWorldFootball. Join us again at the same time next week. Until then, always remember, world service, world football.